Oh boy, I am in the midnight burrows today. And I guess I didn't quite... You know, I'm glad I was still saved right up to that point because I was wondering for a second whether or not the game would actually save. Because we don't quite have the fun... Um, like, immediate knowledge that the game actually saved in this one, so... Oh, great. Here we go. I kind of wish they kept velocity. Here we go. I just gotta do this again. You know, not really a problem. I get to talk about the stuff I wanted to talk about, so that's nice. Ahoy, fellas. Welcome to Ori and the Blind Forest. Ori and the Blind Forest. Yep, that's the name of this game. Will of the Wisps. Ahoy, don't shoot me. Don't shoot your stuff at me. Sheesh. The nerve. I ought to call someone. I gotta call my... Um... Never mind. Can you believe that? I went into the psychotherapist, right? And I asked him his name. He says his name is Psycho. They just forgot to take the... They forgot to put the spaces after the O and the E. I'm like, oh, jeez, that sucks. That's your head. Jeez. Can you believe that? They didn't put the spaces on the guy's wall plaque. Funny jo- anyways. I'll probably have gotten my hands on multiverses by the time this, um, episode comes out. Which means I can freaking brag about the fact that I was completely right about the Iron Giant and everybody should just shut the heck up every time the Iron Giant is gonna be included in a freaking game. Alright? Seriously. <laughs> All I have seen in terms of people talking about the way the, the giant fights and such has, has been approval. And I, I've seen basically nothing in terms of like, Oh, blah, 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 blah. we can't have the Iron Giant in a fighting game. All that garbage. Listen, pal. You people have no idea what you're talking about. And you deserve everything that you have coming to you. Anyways. I uh, just wanted to get that off my chest. I can't wait to get my hands on it, honestly, because I I love the Iron Giant. Um, I wish he was in unlocked immediately, but he's not. Oh, okay, I do have enough keystones. Just making sure. But I um, uh, I saw a video compilation of like all of the references included and not included, but just by the move set, and I'm pretty sure basically every move has some kind of reference, and I really love it when they do that. Not only that, but um, every move that isn't in his, like, alien gun form isn't even an actual direct attack. <laughs> They're, like, and that's basically how the, how the giant was to begin with. That's always how the giant was. Like, you can, you can cause damage just by being big in this world, in all honesty. And that was basically the way the giant was the whole time. For the majority of the movie, like, it isn't as if he only did any amount of damage to his surroundings in the, the last, god, however long of the film in which he went on a rampage for, like, two minutes, not even. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. And I'm so glad that this man's massive. Sheesh. Not as massive as he should be. He should take up the whole screen, honestly. But, yeah. It's very interesting. I like it. What do I have here, and how does it help me? Okay, I'm going the wrong direction. Hold on. Uh, I need to go up here. No, I need to go up somewhere else. Yeah, makes sense. Of course I missed... Whatever. What's the cool thing about all this? Yep. So I was right about coming up... Did I miss... What did I miss here? Oh, okay. How did I... Am I stupid? Oh, okay, I see it now. Alright. There's a portal. Right up there see it now. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I can 
get to it. See, this is the real beauty of the map here, because you can't really immediately tell where some of these portals lead. Uh, all right. Very nice. Okay. Makes sense. That's the easiest way to get there. Okay. Makes sense. That was not the easiest way to get there. I lied blatantly. See? I'm a genius. Alright, everybody who says that geniuses don't out themselves as geniuses, they're morons. And probably some of them are geniuses, but, you know, geniuses do the stupidest things imaginable sometimes. Anybody who, anybody who thinks I'm wrong is wrong. <laughs> God, anyways. I... what was I doing? I have half a mind to get rid of Sticky. Just because I can... I don't know, honestly. I like Deflector. I like the idea of Deflector. It sounds cool. I watched the third season of Sword Art Online, but it's... I don't know. It's it's the kind of thing that doesn't actually seem overly useful, save for in situations that I would really just use Bash anyways. I don't know. And by I don't know, I mean I know perfectly fine, because that's my entire rationale, and I had actually thought about it. But yeah. Iron Giant, good fighting game character. Doesn't mean he has to fight, really. And even if it does, that doesn't mean that he's, like, doing a violence. I mean, kind of, yeah, but, like, come on. <laughs> Cartoon violence. Let's be honest here. Alright. I also uh, am going to reiterate the point about um, defense. How do I get in here? Because there's also, uh, in case you didn't notice, his alien gun form is brought about using a prompt that says defend a friend. It's defend friends mode. Which was kind of, I'm not going to say that that was the point of the film, but that was the only time that the giant ever got freaking peckish, let alone, uh, well, not peckish. Anyways, it's the only time that the giant really got um, violence. Sort of. Anyways. Is that tablet you have there? Uh, yep. Never mind, it's written backwards. I see. If I had remembered... Oh, okay. That's a good thing I read. I got the giant spirit light container. If I had just remembered that that was the case, I probably could have not gone into the, uh... Uh, this entire area at all, but that's no fun. Hmm? I don't remember if it's low or high. There we go. Yeah, it is. There we go. See? But the only time the Iron Giant even got remotely violent and remembered his gun self was because Hog, he thought that Hog Hug was straight up dead. And... I guess that's more of a revenge story than a defensive friend story. But gosh darn it. Self defense is a perfectly reasonable and defensible use of force. Maybe not um, erasing tanks from existence and just, uh, you know, using fun laser beams on American soldiers and all that jazz. Um. But by golly, I just love defending these things. <laughs> what did I gain there? What what did I gain there? Hold on. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> no. Um There's the two of these garden stuff. I found some of the wisps. I found wisps. I don't remember. That's not going to help me. Where's the skill tree in this game? There is none. I'm just going to have to look at that in post, because it's not... I don't know if it's really a movement thing. There would have been...
see my mother. I was about to say, I'm a monster. I'm not sure why I was about to say that, but I was. God. Oh, yeah, another thing I saw recently. I watched Firestarter, which was... I'm, I'm not even going to say it was disappointing, because I wasn't going to watch it, and then my dad got it, and we watched it. So, I wasn't expecting anything to begin with. So, it's impossible for it to disappoint me. But, God, was it kind of a B-movie. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. I didn't know it was like a Stephen King movie that already had its own film back in like the 80s, which would have been nice to know because then I could have just been like, okay, so why are we watching this one? But <sighs> even the story is kind of whack, and I don't, I don't. I don't really trust Stephen King when it comes to little girls. So there is that. But. Yeah, it was it was wacky. The acting was weird. The like plot line seemed forced and a bit rushed. But at the same time, they did. I don't know how long Firestarter was as a book, and really only recently and in very large notable films like Dune and such have films started making like part one, part two, and all that jazz. Because I. If I remember correctly, well, I don't remember correctly, that's the whole problem. I never read The Dark Tower or anything like that. I <laughs> am not uh, an ardent fan of Stephen King, so how about that? But, God, get out of my way. Is there? Yes, there is. Very nice. Um... I'd imagine it was probably a long book, and that the Dark Tower was also long, and then they try and cram the entire story of a very long book into an hour and 30 minutes, and it just doesn't work. But if I had to describe the film itself, nothing really happened. I'm, it, uh, there were a lot of things that were introduced and not explained. There was a character that seemed like it was going to be important and was on screen for a scene. A single scene. Um, character motives looked like they were inconsistent, but again, it might have just been poorly explained again. Uh, let's see. It's just kind of wacky film, you know? Did I already come down here? Probably. What I really should be doing is um, talking about what I'm going to be doing on the next episode of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Probably going to be in going into the spider place. Then again, I don't have a lantern. I want to find out what this is. But it might be poisonous. So, I'm not sure how good of an idea that is. Oh, this water is clear. Anyways, down would we go. I was about to say, oh, it's nothing. Four Gorlek Ore. We've got a good amount, but we're not quite um, making anything new yet, so. I may just have to leave it at that. Now that I've torn into a Stephen King novel movie um, and explained why I dislike people that dislike talking about the Iron Giant in the context of doing any amount of force related action, I have made. A relatively interesting and good video. I'm sure everybody would agree. Everyone agrees. It was a good video. Everyone agrees. And e e every everyone. Anyways, I've been working on my impressions. I am so good at them. Everyone agrees. You can't see my hands right now, but if you could, you would say that the impression is even better. Yup. I'm just going to kill this thing, and then we're going to be done. See? Look at how simple that was. I'm so good at it. Oh boy. Anyways, on the next episode, we're going to be going... Not back into the Luma Pools. We're going to be going back into the Luma Pools eventually, alright? I'm just going to say that now. But, for now... Actually? I might do a Shrine episode. 
I might do that. Uh, I'll probably end up in this spider area. But that will have to wait until next time, which is exactly what I was already talking about. But hey, I'm going to reiterate that point because I do that every single episode. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm going to beat you over the head with a giant truck. <laughs> Super mud. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.